Today we are going to take a closer look at the airport here in Duluth and what it has to offer. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss anything. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cody Oakland, a realtor in Duluth, Minnesota with eXp Realty. If you are new here and interested in all things real estate in Duluth, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm getting a ton of questions every day about Duluth, so if you're thinking of moving here or even if you already live here, call, text, email anytime with your questions. Now let's take a closer look at the airport. Now let's uh, go take a closer look at the airport itself. Now Duluth is a regional airport, so you're not going to have a ton of options to choose from, from you know, different airlines or different flight options for different locations. So there's just a couple of spots they'll take you to from the airport and it's really the kind of the main airports that'll get you everywhere. So the two main airlines we use here are Delta and United and Delta is going to take you to Minneapolis airport. It's usually about an hour long flight they estimate it at. I've had it be a little shorter. Sometimes it's a little longer. You never know with weather and stuff. And then United will take you to Chicago. And I believe that one's usually about an hour and a half to two hour flight. So not too bad either way. And then recently they have added a couple of additional flights in an airline uh, with Sun Country. So we're pretty excited about that. And the two additional locations are gonna be Fort Myers, Florida, which is great, and Phoenix, Arizona. And you know, they could take those away. They could add more, you never know. But at least right now, we do have a couple more flight options. And for the most part, the pricing on these, you'll usually see is about $200 to $400 each way. So it's not always the, the cheapest option to add, um, but it is convenient. So it beats having to drive to these areas sometimes and you know paying for gas, worrying about your car breaking down possibly, um, paying for a hotel, food in these areas, you know, things like that. Um, so depending on the deals you get and everything, you might find, you know, a good cheap option flying from Duluth to these areas and back. So I would definitely keep this in mind when you're taking a look at uh, flying out of Duluth or Minneapolis is probably the most popular one here. I personally prefer to fly out of Duluth when possible. So if you can get a really good deal, I would say that can be a great option, even though it can add up a little bit more in price, but it, it could pay off in the end because uh, I've had a couple things happen. Usually I, I've flown out of there, you know, in winter time, or usually that's when I take a, a vacation is to go to somewhere warmer in winter. And two main things happen. Um, sometimes you might run into a winter storm, whether it's, you know, uh, when you're heading down to Minneapolis to take off uh, with your flight or you're coming home and you're on your way back to Duluth driving and if there's a winter storm, you know, it's going to delay everything, especially on your way back, you know, when you're tired and worn out from vacation, the last thing you want to deal with is driving home in a winter storm or driving at all sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, and the other thing is, you know, when you decide to drive down to Minneapolis, there's a couple things that'll happen is first, you know, obviously you've got gas, you know, maybe you have a car issue or something. Typically you're buying food and drinks and everything on your, while you're down there. And then you also pay for a hotel, car parking. And then, you know, you pay typically to park your car during, during your vacation in that same spot, whether it's at a hotel or a parking area at the airport, you know, whatever. So those costs add up as well anyway. So depending on the price, you can get a ticket for to fly out of Duluth and back into Duluth. You know, it might be a great option just to save you time, hassle. Maybe you save a little extra money from having to drive down there and stay in a hotel anyway. So I would definitely keep the Duluth Airport in mind. Um, and if you can, snag a deal on it. Duluth does have a few other options depending on what you need, whether you're visiting or flying out of Duluth and just want to leave your car parked. They do have uh, parking options available and it's pretty typical for what you'll find to uh, park a vehicle somewhere. So that's, that's going to be an option It's on their website for their different rates, whether it's just hourly or for the week. And then they do have car rental options. And we don't have a ton of rentals 
here in Duluth. Um, so I, I tell everybody you definitely want to check into that ahead of time to make sure you know they have the size of vehicle you need or, or even a vehicle available ahead of time because the last thing you want to run into is that there's no rentals available and you have to cab everywhere because we do have some Ubers as well. Um, there's not nearly as many as you know like the bigger city of Minneapolis things like that. So just make sure to check into these ahead of time, but they are available. Well, there you go. There's some information about the airport here in Duluth. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, share it with a friend, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos about Duluth, Minnesota every week. And if you're thinking of buying or selling a home here in the Duluth area, reach out at the phone number or email on the screen below. I'd love to help you.